Yo, yo, it's ODB, our lifestyle podcast. This is issue 77 of Mini Truck and Magazine, May 98. It's a damn good issue. Seems a little bit more rare. I forget if this one came from Randy from NC Florida, maybe Thomas Cardinal. This is one that I had back in the day and was misplaced, and I had to acquire another one. And uh, it doesn't seem, as, at least to me, that it's as easy to get your hands on. But uh, no doubt it's a 97 S10, silver, of course, sport side, they call it. It's got Tina New on the cover. Uh, this was a Trader's Truck Accessory Assembled truck. Uh, it was kind of a SEMA spotlight vehicle, basically, is how they spin it. And one interesting thing is the layout is only two pages. It almost looks like the photos would appear like in a Trader's catalog. So it's definitely possible that Wes shot it on site for traders, possibly, and they did kind of a dual purpose. Um, but we'd have to verify with Wes to confirm that. You have the first look of the Nissan all-new Frontier and uh, just a cool cover. Uh, real clean truck. Uh, being an S10 guy, I always love those headlights and that grill. And ju uh, just real clean, kind of sport truck era-ish. Uh, the Boyd wheels were, I think, exclusive wheels to the Trader catalog, um, if I remember correctly, in the feature. And again, Tina New looking damn good on the cover. We saw this ad recently on the left. You can see the table of contents. You've got a solid amount of features, including uh, low budget B, good tech, events. You have everything from the CES, Florida. Florida's 97 Vendor Show, SEMA as well. Uh, we'll see the famous uh, Astro Van in here in the yellow version. You got uh, the special section, which was a big thing, the 98 wheel and tire buyer's guide. And you can see here this month, uh, the month of May brings four stars to the cover. Traders, auto accessories, or truck accessories, street scene equipment, Tina New, and SEMA Spotlight Vehicle Racer X. You can see Wes Allison did shoot it. Um, this was the ninth of 19 cover trucks. So you got to remember there are some covers that have multiple, uh, like let's say two trucks. Um, looking at all 269 issues, there's 19 cover trucks that have Boyd wheels. This is the ninth of those 19 uh, for those scoring at home. So let's jump right in. You have the first step. So uh, Shartzis writes his editorial here. Uh, he is still the editor. We'll talk more about that when the change um, comes. Now, I have been knocking these out uh, this week. I'm going to try to keep up a decent pace. Uh, certainly appreciate you watching these all the way through. It helps us out. And please, if you can, leave a comment and consider subscribing. So this was by Bill Blankenship, uh, Photography Mini Truck and Staff. This one always reminded me of Rob Rodell's. And we had Rob Rodell on, God, was it this year or last year? Uh, he talked about having Lomigo and then acquiring the Nissan Frontier and building it. But this was like, I think the same color as his. Uh, here is Race Face, so Ruben Arteaga, shout out to him, the Buka. He's actually going to be on the episode this Friday as well. You can see his name to the left there. Uh, we've seen good tech articles from him these last few issues, and Ruben and I talk about that uh, briefly because it's what's going on right now with our YouTube channel. So uh, tune into OLP on Friday. Not only will Ruben be on, but I think I mentioned uh, maybe in the last flip through that uh, Nick Crouch also known as Surface Nick. He'll be on as our title guest. There's Showfest 98. We started going in 2000, so we missed out, what was it, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Really an epic show. Shout out to ass ass Assorted Miniatures. As I like to call them, Assorted. Uh, this Killer Blazer. I always like that one. Like I said, I get that one. I would get this one mixed up with the West Coast Custom for some reason, but um, this one I think they ran. It just popped back in my head. I think it was Truck and ran a feature on that. Can't remember if it ran also in Mini Truck and Magazine, but uh, because we're going through all the issues, we will find out, won't we? There's the KMC ad I keep referring to. There is is that Lenny's. 
looks like Ohio plate. Yeah, sour. Didn't it say something on it? Um, that crazy truck, and uh, we got to get Lenny on one day. Uh, awesome feature, feeling so blue. Love a convertible mini truck. <clears throat> Excuse me, this one has a New Jersey plate on it. Uh, photography Courtney and Chris Schmidt. So we talked about Chris, uh, you know, playing his role with uh, shooting features and kind of learning under Courtney's wing. Shout out to Chris, good dude. You can see the Phantom Grill there on some centerline wheels, topless, and the rest of the feature in black and white. Uh, it's too bad that these kits are not sold anymore. I know, shout out to Tim Davis, AKA I call him TD from RA. I talked to him this week. And um, those caps was part of that kit. And uh, he has one on his Nissan hard body. Good stuff. Real solid feature here. And um, I even dig the old school car audio. Check it out. The two separate boxes. Little disc changer in there. Amp, capacitor it looks like. And I'll take it. More black and white ads. Can't thank you guys enough for the support here and on the podcast itself. Uh, seeing a lot of good traction and uh, the key is we just got to keep it going. Just kind of flipping through the tech article here, saving some time, chrome wheel cleaning tips. Here you got the Consumer Electronics Show, which is also known as CES. Kind of the standout here is uh, some nice low light photos. It seemed like it was always darker at this show than like at SEMA, for instance. Um, I remember the buzz of a 32 inch Clarion. I remember reading this going, damn, uh, almost you know, how many years later than wheels are 30s and 32s. It's insanity, uh, but I love it. Here you've got the MIC built dime and um, classic truck that we'll see on the cover. Classic as in, to me, uh, a good mix of many trucks. It's got the Wild Horse Colorado custom wheels and uh, some good, you know, decent mods on it, but also I think like the crazy stereo in this one, including the bed, um, just awesome, awesome stuff. Epic times, man. Many of us remember the times growing up and some of these, you know, we spent a lot of time reading these magazines. Some of us did. And if you didn't, you know, some of you guys are seeing this for the first time. So, you know, uh, like I said, I appreciate you watching. Purple. Irma, this purple honey certainly turns boys' heads. And uh, this was Lance shot it, and it was Rodney Rich from Fresno, Cali. Now, uh, one of my favorite mini trucks, of course, I did acquire the Mazda B2200, but uh, I've talked extensively about how the Mitsubishi Mighty Max really got me involved in um, mini trucking. I think it was an 88, and this one technically, I think, is an 89. You can see the wheels there. Sorry, I had a pop-up on my phone. Which was like, your battery's dying. And I was like, damn it, I gotta get through this video. Here you can see some of the old cool, old school car audio. I always love just the plain dashes in these things. Uh, especially when they're tweed, uh, done in tweed. Mini illusions and check out that stereo. That's not the same but you know the same concept of having a topper um and you know having the subs there that was you know the guy chris that had the truck here locally um his box instead of facing um each other they were facing out towards the windshield uh at least one of the boxes he had whenever i saw the truck a couple times here's florida's 97 vendor show so it's always uh interesting to kind of look back here and see do we know any of these faces? Do we know these trucks? Uh, many guys come and go in the scene, that's for sure, but uh, some of us are still here. Uh, this, no doubt, is Joe Greaves. I know that uh, I can kind of tell from the photos and the selection. He always kind of liked the wild stuff. Still does, I think. There is the famous Izuzu, and I get those mixed up. I think that was Seth's, right? I know Ed will chime in. Here is Traders Truck Accessories assembled a trick S truck, so it was called um, X Factor. 
X Racer. That's right, SEMA Spotlight Vehicle. So again, if you look at this, to me, it almost looks like photos that could have appeared. I used to have some of these catalogs, and I did discard them years ago. But a super clean truck, man. I'd rock this still today, and it was in the era when uh, Street Scene was really pumping stuff out, and uh, Traders as well. Uh, the Boyd wheels, if you look here, it says ex available exclusively from Traders in measuring 17 by 8 and 17 by 9 and a half. So it was Racer X was the name of the truck. Here you've got Seamus Show 97. This is before video really became big. And um, check this out. Crew Cab Mini Zonda Rise. Mitsu. Looking dope. Looks like from the tag, it's obviously imported from another country. Here you have the famous Crazy Custom Van. I actually just posted this on social media. Uh, this is uh, ties into the trivia question on Friday, I guess you could say. And um, what an epic van that has been. And it's unfortunate that the last photos I've seen, it looked like it was kind of dilapidated. But um, someone would have to confirm the, yeah, the current uh, stance of it. Check that out. Snug top on the back. Some of those accessories and toppers and stuff are super hard to find. Here you've got the tandem that became a, a cover. And uh, upper right corner we have Bill Hancock. Rest in peace to Thomas. That was the uh, blazer there. And we see here this truck. We'll see this on the cover here real soon. The Ranger. You can kind of see how a lot of these trucks, you know, if they were at SEMA, they were able to go and shoot multiple um, features. And that would run for the next several magazines. Here you got Ruben again, the Booka. And again, we're uh, always proud to have him on our team here. Good friend of ours and uh, Ruben Artiaga. He has the brand C1500 Nonsense. So uh, if you like 1500 or Silverado trucks, so to speak, 88 to 98 gang. Go check them out. There's the old West Coast Custom ad. And uh, there was the cover truck. I kind of had mentioned the intel that I had on that, at least what Wes had remembered. He doesn't chime in a lot, but he said there was some sort of fire he recalled uh, with the truck that day of the shoot. I believe it was that Toyota. Here is um, some different recalibrating your speedometer, which was kind of a cool thing because back in those days, you know, it wasn't what it is today where you have access to a whole bunch of tools and software and stuff. So it kind of talked about uh, changing your wheels and tires and then recalibrating so that it wasn't off by, you know, however many miles per hour. Here is uh, something that was pretty cool. Wheel and Tire Buyer's Guide. Now you can use apps and Photoshop and all kinds of different things. But this was the old school Photoshop. Uh, you would literally, I guess, uh, if you wanted to, you would take your style vehicle, we've seen this before, and you'd cut it out and you could put in other wheels there. So kind of a cool thing. I guess some people would do it. Um, I certainly were like, hell no, I ain't cutting my magazine up. Uh, Tampa, Florida, so April 19th, there's a show. Uh, we've seen this, Caliente Tour. Here's White Strange on the left. Again, hit that like if you can subscribe if you haven't already uh, and share the love if you got other homies or you know kinfolk east west don't matter where you're from um let them know man to come check us out i keep getting new followers and i appreciate that uh it really helps us out here i uh, love looking at these old wheels uh this was the section that you know if you were like yo i want those budniks uh you could go cut these out and throw them on your ride you see colorado custom there so, kind of a cool concept. It's crazy how much wheels, everything's went up, but wheels and, and whatnot. So, it's a little bit different these days. You can go on the internet and figure out who's got what. Uh, back in the day, though, it, and it's kind of the same way. People, you know, a lot of times when you buy a set of wheels, you know, someone else ends up getting them and then you're kind of like, damn, why'd they get those? Why didn't they get something else? But really, if you think about it, if you own the company, you would want to sell a set of wheels to someone and then have someone else see them and go, yo, I want those too. But uh, that's just the way it goes. This is the fourth annual Garden State Truck Nationals. 
all truck nationals. And you can see the Mazda there, kind of a style that was around a very long time and really still is. This thing was insane. I don't remember much about this one. Real cool wheels, suicide doors, front tilt hood, tilt bed. I mean, he's got it pretty much all. And then this, was this the one that Randy owned from Florida? Um, I don't think there were many of these built. Uh, that very well may not be the one he owned. Here's low budget B. And this was uh, Lance shot this one. Real clean truck. Kind of simple um, in many regards. Latest craze, it looks like. I used to go on their, I used to spend a lot of time on their website. I think it was latest craze from the Midwest area. Kind of basic bucket seats, but super clean. Here is um, an ad that sticks out to me. You see there, California Custom USA. I think they did a lot of those Xenon deals uh, and those vans were huge. There's a big market in, I think, Japan. And I do believe that they had shipped um, some of those over there. Anybody have the old school mini trucking jacket? Yo, that would be dope. Mini laughter, so they got some kind of crazy stuff here they would write about. And what's in the CD changer? Puff Daddy. How many times has he changed his name since this magazine came out? Uh, check that out, Notable Quotable. Get the Colorado Custom ad here. Uh, Inky Wheel Interactive website, kind of tying into the whole theme of uh, checking out your wheels. Interesting there. You got the index. And then you have MTX. So again, we don't see Soundstream um, at the end here. This is issue 77. Again, 97S10. Tina New on the cover. Uh, ties in the traders. Ties into the wheel kind of aspect of this one. And you can see there at the top. Exposed 70 new wheel designs for 98. Cool backdrop. Wes Allison killed it. Extreme event coverage. The big boys gather in Vegas. Appreciate y'all. Stay on the rise. We'll hit you, hopefully, with another one soon. Peace.